Streamline is it's quite an emotional, emotionally raw, and it deals with the fallout of a past abuse of Ben's father. Being quite different to what you've done before, was that quite a major draw for you to take that role? Uh, certainly. I think um, when I had discussions with Tyson, the director, um, and we spoke about sort of the both our thoughts and everything, that was definitely a major part of it after I read the script and speak to him. Um, yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay. And you actually, you did quite an impressive job of pulling off that teenage angst. I was very impressed with that. And oh, you. obviously feeling quite suffocated by his mother as well at times. Um, and he'd done exactly what other teens do when they rebel. How much research did you undertake to do in pulling that off? And, you know, it, was it come from any life experiences? Um, I, I think so. Obviously, the story isn't biographical, but um, Tyson, who like was a majorly into swimming when he was younger, he sort of uh, like we spoke and we kind of discussed where our heads were at in terms of the progression from like where we find when it's a difficult age, you know, when you find yourself unsure of like where what path leads you. So we kind of uh, discussed that and sort of what turning points hit and what um, like how being at that age and also having these massive emotional uh, things occurring in your life, that was a large part of it, sort of just talking it out and making sense of it. Um, in terms of uh, research, it was my main, like my main research was more about uh, the swimming side of it and like the, the coping, sort of finding um, like a solace and a sort of a different, uh, a different part of your life, which was, that was a lot of my research, but um, yeah, lots of conversations for sure. And as you mentioned that the swimming as well, some of those swimming scenes actually look quite intense and especially Ben going, having to go for all that testing for the academy as well. How much of, how much actual training did you actually have to go through? Yeah, so I had um, a few months prior to when I first talked to Tyson, uh, I'm, Swimming's big back home. It's bad. There's like pools everywhere. Every school has a pool and you do it from a young age, but I was never great at swimming. I just, I don't think I'm very buoyant. So I never really um, attached to it, but uh, I, I do rock climbing. And so I was sort of already conditioned to kind of be able to find a bit of a path to developing the muscles and like uh, all that kind of thing. So I had training with a swimming coach and also just, um, like targeting the muscles in the gym, et cetera. So that was, it was a lot about the physicality of it because I don't think ever in my life I'd be able to accomplish what Benjamin uh, was able to, like his, and his ability. But um, yeah, it was a lot about just getting the mentality from like the rigorous training and the, yeah. Okay, and obviously you mentioned Tyson, the director. I mean, it's his, it's his feature directorial debut as well with the film. Um, did he, from what, obviously you've been in quite a bit of stuff beforehand, did he bring anything kind of new to the table for you? What kind of work, working experience did you have with him? Yeah, I think the a big thing was the conversations we had prior to production. That was massive to sort of um, being able to map out and shape where we wanted to go. Because uh, the other films, I was a lot younger, so I kind of, um, it didn't have a lot of the, I guess just, I, I don't remember having such close conversations and being able to sort of ask whenever I wanted, which I would have been able to do, but it just um, being able to incorporate it, that was massive for me. So it was a lot about the discussions we had. Okay. And it's also, it's obviously quite a family driven drama as well with, um, no, which what I actually found quite freaky was how much you, Jason Isaacs, and is it Jake Ryan and Sam Parsonson all mm. kind of look similar? You've all got those same kind of eyes. Freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. Um, but it's such an emotional subject. Did that bring a level of family friendship between the four of you as a, as a cast? Yeah, I remember when we had the shoot days because the shooting for the sequences with the brothers, the brothers' house was in this boiling hot. So I don't even remember. It's a town in a near the Gold Coast in Australia and it was just boiling hot. So we were inside the, the, um, their shack, their house and their shack and there was no air conditioning whatsoever. So we'd just sit down and <laughs> soak in the heat and talk. And then they had like a little montage 
the montage with the phone, which was good fun. Yeah, definitely. It was so long ago now. I don't remember like the specificities of it, but yeah, a great bunch. Was it filmed pre-pandemic or? Yes. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, with his, with Jason's uh, experience under his belt, did he give you any kind of pointers along the way? Um, nothing's like, no, nothing specific because it was sort of um, like a lot of our scenes were uh, like just in between moments. So we kind of, I don't have the proper time to uh, devote, like and get into that, but we actually, I didn't work directly with him, but a few years ago I did uh, a film and he played the older version of me. So we met each other then. So that was a, a little reunion, which was nice. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so having starred in Pan and A Wrinkle in Time as well and so on, at 19, you've certainly not been sleeping on your career and you've taken it obviously to the next level. If there was one genre of film you wanted to crack, what would it be and who would you love to work with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> difficult one right at the end. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, I'm not sure. I've always kind of wanted to do a Western. I always had a, a dream of doing a Western film. Um, I'm not sure who specifically I'd like to work with, but uh, I, I know I definitely one day like to um, see that side of it and experience the like a bit more of a rugged. Because I, I did a film last year, uh, and it was in Western Australia, in like a, the down south, and it was quite cold and, and wet and muddy. And um, like experiencing the elements and seeing how much that changes, not only how I perform, but also just like everyone, everyone and how we like interact with each other. I don't know, I'd like to do a, do a Western in the elements. I think that'd be pretty sick. You come and film over in England, it's like that all the time. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. That's right. Thank you, nice to meet you.